Hello friends and welcome. Today you're going to be watching a game I played live on stream where my team fell behind, but we managed to recover and then win the game. A lot of you have been asking about that. Uh, you know, what do you do when you're not crushing the game? How do you play? So here we go. I'm not going to be playing that well. Sorry, it's another Venomancer game, but he's pretty good right now. You guys should play him. Um, I, I made some mistakes, so it's like not as good as it could have been. And I mean, yeah, if I played better, you know, we wouldn't have fallen down in this case. But uh, we did, so how do you then recover from that? Uh, every game's going to be unique, so... Keep that in mind. You gotta like imagine a path to victory and give it a shot. But something you can try in every game, and something you will see uh, demonstrated here, is that these are pub games and people are gonna mess up. So, step one is try to split up and farm as supports. You can try to do like the more dangerous stuff, cores, let them do a little bit of the safer stuff. It kind of depends on the draft. Uh, but you do want to try to avoid the enemy as they group up because you're weaker than them. You can't win those fights. So, you have to like sacrifice. Um, buildings to like buy time and your team tries to like out farm efficiency because we're all scattered uh, but once they possibly scatter you want to pounce on that and try to find a fight that is really good right now in this patch with the way xp and gold works uh, so you're gonna see here the enemy gets a little overconfident at points they scatter and that's just pub games right people mess up all the time and so once they do you want your team to go and like hurry and take a fight are you going to get that to happen all your pubs? No, you'll probably lose. But uh, if you can get your team coordinate, tell them like, hey, this is what we're looking for. Here's the observers. Here's the, the smoke. Get ready. And once we see it, let's smoke and go. Right? That's the kind of thing you're looking for to find one kill. And suddenly, when you're like 20k behind, right? I mean, we're not 20k behind here. But like, say you're 20k behind, but you managed to pick off the carry who had 20k net worth. Hey, now it's a 5v4 and it's a even net worth, right? And now you're looking for the next kill, the next kill. And now you've chopped that, that net worth deficit down to like 50 k and you're just gonna like rinse and repeat that is something you can look for in every single game that you are behind but it's easier in different games depending on the draft so with all of that preamble out of the way here's the game enjoy i will be popping in and out to like give some extra details as we go no we double blood grenaded I kind of knew I would need to salve eventually against this guy. Yeah. Guess I should have gotten a lot sooner. Let's grab this before this guy kills my courier. He might still kill it, but at least we got our stuff. Maybe go for a kill once we have Q again. Shoot, our quarry might get killed here. Oh, okay. Living. Your middle tower will 
is under attack. Man. I feel like she used Chase, she might have killed him, but oh well. I don't want my dust instead of another sentry. Why did I buy that actually? That's really bad. I don't need this. Someone else on my team should have it. With Vim and Venom. Let's go for a stack. Quick as Venom. Yes. You can't run from the venomous one. I might miss this pull. A touch of Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I was just pinging it. As you say. Going. Your top power is under attack. My venom flows. I think I'm just gonna die now, actually. Oh, disaster. Oh no. Started getting out of control, y'all. Notice how Bounty Hunter just left his lane when he couldn't do anything in there. We were winning the 2v2. He didn't feel like he could contribute, but he's got natural roaming abilities. So he went to the other lanes, and now they're both winning. I have to go help uh, my team, and now Visage has space to 1v1 and recover. I'd say bottom was kind of going okay. We could have done better. Bounty Hunter got a bit too much done, unfortunately. Yes. Quick as venom. Yes. Make sure he's not here. Agitation. I should have stacked this while I was here. What the hell was I doing? Oh my god. Idiot. up to this tower we're gonna need to do a little farming i feel like Your bottom tower is under attack. stack this the last couple minutes were not the best for us so i am trying to make sure i get some xp doing camps like this it is a little unique to veno not everyone can do this but uh, you can't just run from fight to fight uh, especially if it's like 
even fights like three heroes versus three heroes because you're behind. Um, so you do want to find ways to get XP like this, uh, but still keep an eye on favorable fights. So for example, Visage in that bottom lane is cutting, Medusa's gonna call me down there. So you're gonna see me go down there. It's not the cleanest execution, but you can look for those type of fights. And in the meantime, try to get XP like this instead of just constantly running at that Visage while I'm getting no XP. And then maybe we get the Visage kill. Here I'm getting XP. If the opportunity doesn't present itself, then I, I still got something. Oh, I didn't have this attacking the right thing. Your middle tower is under attack. Every coin helps. I really need this. Yes. Quick as venom. Your bottom tower is under attack. Your bottom tower has fallen. I should have stacked this. We're pretty behind. From starting okay to disaster. I think we have to go for plague wards and try to like hold. I think I need my six. This one looks not, <clears throat> excuse me, not the best. Oh, what just got in my throat? DD Conka, oh no. I sure wish I had my ultimate. Yeah. 
Maybe I should have gotten a third point in my E, actually. Oh, I missed. Oops. How embarrassing. This is a rough one. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna get this actually. Oh, at least we didn't give dual damage. All right, Medusa, Manta. The longer this game goes, the slowly I'll feel like a little bit better. Actually, I probably didn't need to sell that iron branch. I could have kept it. Oh well. Yes. Between bearings versus greaves, uh, it just sort of depends on like, is it a good drums game or do they have a lot of slows that you really need boots of bearing to deal with? Which is like secondary usually. It's not usually why you're buying boots of bearing. Um, I should have stacked. What am I doing? I feel like, man, we could have given Medusa a much better start if we were uh, paying attention. I think late game Dusa is kind of good versus what's his name. Just got to see if we can get to that. I missed if he warded there. Oh my god. Oh, thank goodness CK is hitting Wind Ranger instead. This is not the best smoke. It's a little bit of desperation smoke, but I'm just trying to get something going with the, the Legion duel and the Skywrath ult. Again, any kind of kill is good, even if we just run into a support, which is kind of what I was hoping for, like a bounty in this support. Unfortunately, we got here a little too late. They went on our Wind Ranger first, uh, so we can't really fight. We're gonna have to leave. But if you can get any kind of kills, and earlier you saw me just like ult a, a bounty hunter, right? Cause he's running at me. Any kind of kill when you're behind is really good. Uh, so sometimes if you make these kind of smokes, you just don't want to run into like all the enemy heroes. You just want to find like a single kill here and there. Mm, unlucky. Right, if 
we can win this game, it'll be a hell of a recovery game. <laughs> Maybe that'll be something we can put online. You guys always ask, not you all, but specifically, but like YouTube, those are like, oh, these games are always stomps. You want to see a game where you come back from behind. It's not easy to get those. But I am keeping an eye out for them. The problem in NA is people usually just give up, you know? So then it's like, it's hard to come back. Give up, or there's like a ton of like toxicity and slurring, and it's like, I ain't up to, I am not from that on YouTube. Uh, that might have been a bad observer, but oh well. Didn't realize there could be a Philosopher's Stone this whole time. We need like whatever kills we can get, so I'm just casting it on whoever. Yeah, I don't know what that fight was. What's the play here? Ring of Aquila, mana regen for the Medusa. <laughs> I don't mind Dusa, but uh, I think I don't know, the mid and top lane went like kind of bad, so we have no one, like, we won our safe lane, but Deuce is not a playmaker, and then I had to rotate so quickly. I actually, I wouldn't say we won our lane, but like, it went okay. Kind of got what we needed. We were getting there. Yes. I think that XP rune might be gone. Agitation. Give it to me. <laughs> Get me out of here. A touch of venom. Oh, who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Hmm. Well, I should just be with my team. Let's just take this fight or something. I want to break down this fight a little bit more because it is the start of our recovery and I want you guys to be able to identify the conditions yourselves as well. Uh, so CK is up here, I'm up here, I'm worth much less than CK. So maybe if I like stalled him out here, that could work, but team fights are a lot better than they were in the past. Getting those kills is really good. So I, I think it's good to try to join these fights and make them happen. So that's why I'm about to TP down here. And then we're gonna have five heroes versus their heroes, right? So Lich was trying to ward, didn't really expect to get caught, um, but this is gonna force him to already start using some of his items defensively, uh, followed up by this Visage who's gonna pipe, and then uh, Bounty's going to mech. They maybe were not planning a full team fight here, but they've already used a lot of big cooldowns by the fact that maybe my team didn't quite initiate so much as like an accidental run-in. Um, but we are kind of getting that upper hand here because it's our half of the map. I'm able to join faster. CK, uh, in other games, maybe has to TP to this tower and then run in. This time they do have the outpost, but the outpost has a longer teleport. Um, so that's why this observer, or sorry, this plague ward I placed was to scout him coming in so we would know. And it does work. I catch sight of him uh, in Viz, like running in. 
and that's why I'm able to put down a preemptive sentry here to then further scout him as he walks in. He has not joined the fight yet. All five of us are pretty much involved, and uh, Visage is now dead. So earlier, you know, we're taking out the CK's net worth. Now we're taking out Visage's net worth because he's actually just dead. He's no longer in this fight. Uh, so from a 16k lead, maybe a little less, 15k now that he's dead, right? Take away another 10k. So now it is a 5k difference. There's five heroes versus four heroes. And so like that doesn't seem as difficult, right? But when, a, when you're looking at a straight five on five fight and they're like 15k up, that's really tough. So that's why it's important to try to split them up. And that's why the rest of this fight, right? By the time CK comes in, we've already got the numbers and we managed to win this fight. So many of these we can use these on Dusa later on. I might be in trouble actually. I'm tracked. Kinda on my own. I better leave. Not yet, no fear. We won two games. This one kinda looking bad, but that last fight was pretty good actually. So maybe there's a recovery in the works. Go D Ward. I like don't know where I want to ward actually. Yes. But I feel like I need something in this jungle. Okay, how about out here actually? How about our little spot right there? I don't really want this, so I hope, kind of hope someone else gets it. Maybe it's okay, actually. Skyrath is what? That Scion thing? <laughs> Their Tormentor got killed? Well. Where is Elsie running from us? Lich is dead, so we're able to smoke, and even if we run into all remaining heroes, we will be okay. It's a five versus four. Maybe not perfectly okay, but it's favorable. It's a it's a good condition, and that's why we go for this, and we find someone who maybe shouldn't be out here, Kunkka. So now we're taking a kill off of Lich, or maybe it's not really a Lich kill, he just died to the Tormentor, right? But now we're finding another kill on the Kunkka, and we are giving ourselves more time where they can't really fight into us because they don't have all five of their heroes, despite having a net worth advantage. My Medusa. That's not going to stop them this fight because they didn't watch my video on Friday about resetting. So here they are fighting over tier 2 tower without their Kunkka and they're missing a huge chunk of their net worth advantage. So we're going to be able to come out ahead in this fight, especially off those sick healing lotuses on Medusa, keeping her alive. And this could have just been them giving up a tier 2 tower, still maintaining like a 10k lead. But instead they took a really bad fight. They're going to lose a lot of heroes and we're going to catch up. Got to make sure she wins that duel. GG! This might actually be our comeback game. Yes. <laughs> what do we get from here? We're really running out of sentries, so a gem could be useful, but I don't want to die too quickly. 
Uh, there's a CK. So some kiting could be good. Uh, Solar Crest or like four staff for the Medusa to keep her away from these heroes. I kind of like four staff. Oh, we gotta all be together though. We're split up showing. We're now making the mistake that they did, which is that we're showing in multiple lanes on their half of the map. So they really should have probably killed this Wind Ranger. She barely gets away. But if they had killed her, that would now be a large window of time where they can take whatever fight and we don't have all our heroes. Roche can start to spawn. Can we try to like set up for that? No. 28 minutes. I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm going for it. Stupid is as stupid does. The enemy could have tried to fight us uh, in a very similar way right here, which is that, you know, four of us are showing in this bottom lane, and although Wind Ranger didn't die, she got like really close. So we all kind of know she has to go back and heal, uh, but we have enough vision to know they are not coming to us, but it could have been them choosing to try to make this play, and maybe we just back off and it's fine. They're choosing to try to like split up and farm a bit, uh, which, I don't know, it depends on your philosophy whether they should or not. But I do think they could have tried to take a fight here, and this could be my team throwing away our advantage now. Maybe I should have just gotten Solar Crest for her, actually. I don't know. Go T4. I think Medusa noticed my save. Probably not. To be honest. Wow, that really, uh... That was quite the turn. Remember that game where we like smashed three different lanes and it still took 30 minutes because we kind of goofed? What a twist and turn. we doing fortunately my team does not reverse throw here so we're gonna win uh, i hope this was a good example of something you can look for to try to recover mainly to take advantageous fights based on positioning and the enemies you know being split up that happens all the time so usually being 20k behind should be a death sentence but everyone makes mistakes other recoveries might look different i will try to find examples of those as i play more and make videos out of them thanks for watching guys oh i should use that faster uh, oh well. Let's buff up the win rate of Plague Ward. Just, just by a little bit. Oh, look at that. So much faster now. One second off. Game winning, honestly. Would not have won that game without that talent. Really good one. I recommend it to all. The dream is alive. Let's go for one more win. We'll be back to 6k. Here begins the rigged system. Six loss streak incoming.